Hey, so I've usually tried to keep my scripted videos in the PG to PG-13 range, and I don't know if anyone in my audience watches my stuff with their kids, but if you do, you might want to skip to the next entry. Okay, for those of you who stuck around for this entry, this is one of the most vulgar and juvenile parody songs ever written and it's kind of brilliant. Nick Weiger plays a character named Leo Carpazzi, who claims to have written the original, true, gritty version of the Monster Mash, before Bobby Boris Pickett held back with his tame version. In real life, Pickett's co-writer was a man named Leonard Capizzi, so good work with the deep cut, Weiger. And what's Carpazzi's original version? It's an orgy. It's just a monster orgy, all the monsters having graphic sex. He did the monster The monster It was a graveyard that monster sucked and he did the He did the monster There's a lot to unpack in this. The blatant and deliberate lack of any cleverness displayed by the chorus, with no attempt to even rhyme with the parody target or find any additional rhymes in the chorus, the bizarrely specific depictions of sex acts in this monster orgy, or the deranged intensity with which Weiger sings this song. He's basically just shouting into the microphone. Those monsters sucked and they did the, they did the monster. The hey, remember when I talked about Sesame Street in this same video? Bigfoot gave the headless horseman head. Swamp thing jumped up in the castle moat. While Dracula gagged from the jizz in his throat. But for me, the true humor comes not from the song itself, but from the meta-narrative around the song. For one thing, there's the Funny or Die music video, which is labeled the original Monster Mash, so the comments are just full of stories of people putting this on for their kids, not realizing what it was going to be. And also the fact that it was part of Funny or Die's Halloween event, which means that they got John Carpenter to introduce the idea of this song. But of course, my love for this is not the song or even the video. It is the use of the song as a running gag on Comedy Bang Bang. The sanitized version, that's the one everybody knows and loves. Uh, but it's not my original vision for the song. You know what? Uh, I, I read about this, and I, I just I would love to hear your original version of the song. Yes, one fateful Halloween, Scott Ackerman interviewed Leo Carpazzi and asked him about his original Monster Mash, and uh, he did not like the results. Get the fuck I out of here. Okay, it's, it's been a pleasure to be here and, and share my song. Yeah, it has not. Leo Carpazzi. Then, every couple of Halloween since then, Leo would invade the studio and announce that he had written a new song. But I wrote a sequel. Oh, oh that's I wrote, great. I wrote a squeakquel, if you will. Oh, okay. A, a, a part two to the uh, Monster f and it's uh it's called uh, uh well it, it's called Monster f Two, and oh. I I think I think the audiences are really going to enjoy it. I mean, I think it's got everything that you liked about the uh, the original song and more. And the new song would just be the Monster f again. He did the. F he did the monster fuck part two. Oh, he'd make some variations to it, but usually just adding a part number to it. Every time you've come on the show, and you've done it at this point seven times at least. That's correct. Usually on the Halloween shows. You lure me in by saying you've written a new song. You tell me the title, and it sounds like it's going to be a new song. And then you just sing the same song over and over with no variation. <laughs> I just want to make sure that that's not happening anymore because that's why I stopped asking you on the show in the first place. Right. Uh, Scott, I assure you, this is a completely new song. Well, aside from when he updated some of the lyrics to use more modern terminology, but other than that, it's just so consistent each time that uh, he's been called out for how consistent it is. Is it the same exact song every single time? Well, th I, I'd argue there are some major variations. <laughs> Although I believe some kind soul layered each version on top of each other, and you do not deviate in the slightest. <laughs> I think they're different songs. I'm That's, glad. My belief is that they are different songs. Okay. You would think doing just the same parody song each time would get old, but no, the more annoyed Scott gets with it, just the funnier it gets. And how Scott still continues to be surprised that he included Swamp Thing. Did you mention the Swamp Thing? I don't remember. I did mention Swamp Thing, yes. Yeah, usually I'm incredulous at that, but I could, the whole thing was washing over me. I couldn't believe the whole thing. If a Halloween comes and Leo doesn't show up, Comedy Bang Bang fans get upset. We want to hear this same joke over and over. To the point where Leo at some point had to invade other holidays. He did the <laughs> 
He did the monster fuck part seven, haunted car. From my laboratory, I heard quite the racket. It's possible that this is partially a joke on how many times the real Bobby Boris Pickett recycled the monster mash idea with barely distinct sequel songs. But they were up to no good. Didn't act like good monsters should. But whether that's a deliberate target of the joke or just a pleasant side effect, Scott's ever-growing frustration still has yet to get old. That was the exact same thing, Leo, and you have to admit it. You have to admit that the, that the only deviation from all the other times you've done it is occasionally, not even every time, you've said mm. six six sex. Yeah, the first and the final chorus. Uh, right. It's a uh, look. It's a new song. It's a new compass. I started this from scratch, and I I can I have my things that work for me. I have my hook, and I, I I just you know like I said I leaned into the raunch. I leaned into what I know. Even you have to admit that this is the exact same thing. Why would you do this to me? It's look. It's the it's a similar song. It's got a similar structure. Ninety nine point nine percent of it is similar. I will say this. Yeah, look at Rush's discography. A lot of their Why? albums are treading the same ground. <laughs> sure, but they're not singing about Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn every goddamn song. I mean, maybe that was their mistake. <laughs> it might have been. Because that song was gangbusters. <laughs> look, I'm every year that this comes up, I think I'm not going to laugh at it this time, and then I hear Scott's frustration, and I'm just giggling all over again. It's the Sideshow Bob stepping on rakes of vulgar seasonal novelty songs. <laughs> 